Hey guys, welcome to another study vlog. So in this video, I am gonna bring you guys along with me throughout the week whenever I need to study or work on an assignment. And the difference between this one and my previous study vlog is in this one, I'm actually gonna break it down to you like the details of what I'm working on and how I manage my time, how I plan, how I actually do my assignments. I'm gonna start with today. I don't have a class and I don't have an assignment due this week. My next like kind of big assignment is due next week, but I like to start working on things early. However, I still have like a bunch of smaller things to do and it's currently 10 a.m. I am at my building study spot like the private room I've mentioned this a lot in my previous videos but I like to go out of my room to study for this morning I'm just staying here because I want to be able to cook lunch at home and then after that that's when I'm going to uni and for this morning I'm gonna start with doing the weekly assignment so for one of my classes I have a weekly assignment that I need to submit before the class it's just like kind of a 200 word essay based on the topic of this week so yeah, let's start with that so the way that I like to do this assignment is I like to split my laptop screen So for this one, it is the journal that we need to read And then I'm gonna write down the important points It's like a 24 pages journal I'm definitely not gonna read the entire thing But I'm just gonna like skim through it And find the ones that are important And then after writing down my own points I'm gonna answer the question for the assignment I just submitted the weekly assignment so it's very nice to be able to check one thing off the to-do list but I still have over an hour which I can stay here so I'm just gonna like check out the list again and if I have some minor things that I can get done right now I'm gonna do it I actually realized that I have more time than I expected to do more stuff I'm gonna do the next thing for one of my classes So for my other class tomorrow, the lecturer actually reminded us last week that there's kind of like a reading that we need to do I just looked through it. It's not like an academic journal. It's more like an article So I feel like it would be easier to get through. It is kind of longer than I expected But I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do the same thing as what I did earlier I have this like split screen situation going on. So the reading is over here and and I'm actually gonna write down like my summary and key points on the other side So I'm gonna do that until lunchtime. Hopefully I'll be done with it excited to show you guys the glasses that I just got from Fermu. Look at this. It is so pretty. I got the Judy 107 in black. Check this out. I love the way it looks. Like, I've always been skeptic about buying glasses online, but this experience has been so easy for me because when I went to their website, I can filter the type of frames based on my personal preferences. And I always go for like a wide or big frames because, well, I have a wide face. And I also picked the cat eye type of frame because personally I like that type and I feel like it suits my face and I just went through the options that was presented and I've been wanting like a black frame like this one and that was it when I received the product I tried it on and I immediately fell in love like this is exactly what I envisioned this is exactly what I've been wanting I love it so much and so for this one I didn't ask for any prescriptions because I already have like a couple of glasses with prescriptions and to be honest I don't exactly remember Remember the details so I thought I'll just get one without prescriptions but I asked for blue light protection for this one so like whenever I go out I have my contacts when I want to work or study I can just put this on and it will still protect my eyes from the blue light radiations of our gadgets and you have to know all the glasses by Fermu are very affordable like you have to see the price on this type like the one that I'm wearing it's literally only around $20 but even though it is very affordable it is also a very good quality overall i am so happy with the experience of like picking the glasses and having it exactly like i want it to be and it is so comfortable I'm going on the descriptions i also have a 50 percent off code i'm gonna put it down here and also on the descriptions and get your stylish affordable glasses from fermu
Like I said, after lunch, I'm gonna go to uni because last night Eva texted me that she's going to study at uni with Natasha too. So I'm gonna meet them. We're gonna study at the architecture slash robotics building again, the Glenn Davis one. And they've been there for like a couple of hours. So I'm gonna see them. And okay, since I've done like the weekly assignment for tomorrow and I'm almost done reading for tomorrow's class too, I'm gonna check what else I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna finish reading the article for tomorrow's class and then I'm gonna have to apply what I read there kind of to my group project because last week we got like a feedback that we need to work on that like topic for our project and then I did like a couple of interviews also for my project and I wanted to like write down the draft of the interview to a file just to make it more organized and like easier to analyze I also need to edit a poster also for the project so yeah this is like a huge project for the semester okay that is all <laughs> is doing an impromptu interview with me. See, what skincare brand do you use? Typically, the one that you bought in here. Dermalogica. Okay, why do you buy Dermalogica? <laughs> I look like I have a legit podcast set up right now but I'm just in my building so I was planning to go to the state library today and work on this new assignment but I have been feeling a little sick in the past couple of days but I'm so glad that I literally have like this level all to myself so I can just talk freely in front of the camera and I'm also glad that I am not going out because it's raining heavily right now and the wind is insane okay I'm actually gonna show you guys like look at that you can actually see how windy it is outside but it's so bad and i kind of feel like i need to say pardon for whatever this horrendous outfit is because i'm literally wearing this shirt that i slept in anyways i have a big assignment due next week and i feel like i'm being dramatic by saying it's a big assignment but like to be fair it's due 40 or 45 percent of my entire grade for that subject and next week is actually the mid-semester break so i kind of want to start early so that i wouldn't spend too much time with my brain doing this assignment so this is what I'm gonna do I have prepared some pen and highlighter and like some papers because this is gonna be my brainstorming base I am gonna start with like throwing ideas and organizing the structure I'm not gonna start writing the actual paragraph yet and I feel like that's just my goal for today I just want to have like the outlines and structure not even the draft all the ideas ready so that when I feel better I can start writing down the paragraphs sick I am because my head hurts and I just started I mean not just started but I haven't worked long enough but hey at least I have created like a little bit of a mind map and I've written down quite some notes over here so I'm gonna try and stay here for like a couple of more minutes and see if I can make some more progress but otherwise this is a good outcome and I'll try to work again tomorrow i'm finally going out to study again and i think i'll get a change of scenery and go to the library but not the state library i forgot what it's called but you'll see for 
For this study sesh, this is when I would start building on what I did yesterday. I've done the necessary background researches, I've written down how I want the structure to be like, and some key theories from the class that I want to integrate. So I'm just gonna start writing the actual paragraphs today, at least just the draft first. Okay, speaking of showing you guys how I do my assignments or how I manage my study times, you know, everything about that. I'm gonna show you my, like, a quick notion tour, but more specifically the ones that are related to this video. I think I've done this, like, in my 2024 reset video, but in case you haven't watched that, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly. So this is the homepage of my notion page. I think the sections that are relevant to this video would be the weekly planner. Okay, this is slightly different than my schedule for the beginning of this video, but you guys the point this is what it looks like i just put each day and like checklist so i guess i can check the film notion tool right now i'm currently at my third semester so i'm gonna click on this part so on the top page of that section i have my class schedule which is just a table it has the name of the class which day the classes are which time how long it is and the location but i feel like it wouldn't be wise for me to show that on a youtube video where everyone can see it but yeah you get the point and then under that one i have another table but that one's like a schedule of the assignments so like when are they due on which weeks and which subjects what are the assignments and so on i didn't make this one but like on the beginning of the semester my friend airdropped her schedule to me and i thought that was very helpful so thank you carmen for that so since i have these four subjects like for example i'm gonna click on brand management it's the name of the subject i have these like sections not started in progress and done if i just create a new one i can like type in for example day six once it's in progress, I can move it to this side and then once it's done, I can move it down here and on each boxes this is where i put all of my notes so the pre-class reading the class notes and so on so like every single notes that i have about uni is on my notion including assignments like my notes for the assignments i would also put it here i hope that is useful some people ask to share my notion i don't know how to do that without like showing my entire schedule but you can just use templates on notion if you don't want to make it from a blank page or i'm so sure that a lot of people have made like notion tutorial videos on youtube so you can check that out but once you get the hang of it this is very useful remember what i said in the beginning of the video that i have an assignment that is due during the mid-semester break but i want to start early because i don't want to spend too much time of my break working on the assignment well this is the week of the mid-semester break and guess what i'm not done i'm only like probably halfway through it and i am a bit stressed right now because i want to finish it as soon as possible but i'm still not like fully recovered so it's been like hard for me to work on it but yeah what's a rani study video without me studying at the state library so that's where we're going today let's go since I have written down the draft, I'm going to start adding theories and organizing the references, making sure I've poured every ideas on the paper. The last part would be finalizing, which for me is just reorganizing everything, rechecking the word count and making sure I'm writing everything effectively, rechecking all the requirements, and that's pretty much it. 